Hi, this is Wigglecado. Today, I want to show you how I only use an iPad Pro to make a 3D sculpture like this from the very beginning. I will be using Nomad Sculpt to create the 3D sculpting. To make it more realistic, I will also use Procreate and Affinity Designer to create some textures and patterns. Alright, let's get started. Start with Nomad Sculpt for the 3D modeling. I put a reference photo on the background and I use the lathe tool to create the cup shape by following the reference. I turn on the hole button to create a concave. However, when I remesh the model, it completely breaks apart at the bottom. So I try another way to fix it. I turn off the hole option and create a double layer like so. It seems like the lid shape doesn't have any problems using the hole option. So I continue to work on it. Now I want to work on the ice cream part. I change the lid material to refraction so that I can cleanly see through inside. I add a sphere in the middle of the cup. I turn to the top view, then I use tube to draw on the sphere to create a spiral shape of an ice cream. I increase it to an appropriate size and turn on the snap button. This way, the tube snaps right on the sphere. After I am happy the shape, I duplicate another tube to change the shape from round to sharp edge from 2 to 3 times. Iced coffee is created by duplicating the cup model and decreasing the extra layer. I trim off the unnecessary bottom of the sphere and add a cylinder for the straw like so. Then I remesh the iced coffee. To create more details on the ice cream surface, I use the clay tool and change the alpha image to a noise texture. Hmm, looks great. Now, use Affinity Designer to create the coffee bubbles texture. Just draw a circle and duplicate another circle inside. Then change the shape a little to create the reflection shape. Repeat copying and resizing the circle until it totally fills up the whole page. Label is uses a similar way as well. Just change the colors and size, then type the name on top of the circle. Texts will follow the path to create a round logo shape. Going back to Nomad Sculpt for the painting, I apply a coffee color to the iced coffee and then change to the bubble image that I just made. I also change the alpha image to a round blurry shape and change the stroke type to grab with dynamic radius. To draw on the surface, I use a cell mask tool to select the top area. And I start to apply the bubbles on it. I make some bubbles bigger, and some smaller to create the texture as a whole. Because my texture uses white only, I can change any colors inside the nomad like so. Same with the cup label. Change the label image and turn the alpha to completely white. Then set the falloff to completely full like so. Because of the thickness, it creates the label into a double layer. Simply make the drink a bit bigger to cover the other label. The painting brush seems to be limited on the round surface. So, I need to paint it by using the cell mask tool. Select the area to the perfect circle. Then use the paint tool and pick the color from the label like so. And paint it. The top of the drink looks too flat, so I create a bumpy surface by reusing the bubble texture. I also create some droplets to make it cooler. Just use inflate and change the alpha to a droplets texture. To make the cup easy to see, I change it back to opaque material when drawing on it. Alright, the coolest drink is finished. Let's create the hottest now. In a similar way, I use lathe tool to create the cup. Then I add a cylinder in the middle and change the division Y to 1. I use the cell mask and turn on the mirror option to select the area I want. Then I scale it a bit larger which creates the middle part of cardboard waves for the holder. I scale the bottom part to a similar size of the cup. 
and trim the top and bottom parts. Then remesh it. I create the hollow by masking the top and bottom parts. Then I split it like so. I add another cylinder for the outside looks. I also use lathe to create the lid. I add a cylinder for cutting out the top shape. I trim an angle on the top and remesh it. I mask the bottom part of the lid and create the hollow and cut out another unnecessary area by using another cylinder. I create the coffee cup mouth by trimming. I add more details on the lid by using a stamp tool. Now, the 3D model is done. Let's work on the texture in Procreate. Simply draw a circle and align it to the center. Fill the circle to dark brown color. Draw a coffee pattern like so. Use smudge to mix some areas. Then change to noise brush and start to paint it to a lighter color. And I just keep drawing until I am happy. Here is a Procreate time lapse. After I finish the texture, I get back to Nomad and arrange the position. Then I add a sphere inside the cup to create the drink. I use the texture I just drew on Procreate for the drink. To create a more natural look for the drink, I use cell mask to select the top area and blur the edge a couple of times. Then I move the area down a bit. I also paint the inside of the cup by using the mask and paint tool. Because the cup is too thin, it is hard to manage. To fix this, I just duplicate another cup to cover the area like so. I just scale it a bit larger. For the paper holder, I want to keep the low polygon but high resolution for the painting. So I turn on the flat subdivision option to subdivide it. Then I choose a brown yellow color for both layers. I tune the inner layer a bit darker. I also apply a paper texture on top. I choose a dark brown color for the lid. Now, I bring all the models in the picture and do some adjustments to it. Right, here it is. A warm latte and an iced coffee. Thanks for watching. If you are interested in this topic, please consider to subscribe for more related videos. Alright, I will see you in the next video.